Hey there, welcome back. So today I'm going to share with you a super efficient way to organize your notes creation process. That's right. We are talking about OneNote automation. Guys, OneNote is a powerful tool for note making. And if you are tired of manually creating notes for your personal work or your professional project, this automation video is for you. Here I'm going to show you step by step process of setting up an automation which is going to create notes every week automatically in OneNote application. And we can set up this automation without any coding super simply. So let's begin. So we are using Pabli Connect to set up this automation workflow. So this is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And you can find the link of this page in the description. And from here you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. So sign up right now from the given link and after that sign in and select Pabli Connect product to reach the dashboard. From here you have to click on create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. After that click on create button. So I have given the name here create notes in OneNote every week. Now I'm going to click on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here. And here guys you will find these two basic building blocks of our automation which are called the triggers and the actions. So guys trigger is going to start this workflow and the action would be an automated response or the consequence of the trigger. So guys when you click on the trigger uh, section you can see it is asking to choose the trigger application. So in our use case guys we want this workflow to run every week automatically. Okay. So here I'm going to choose schedule by Pabli feature of Pabli Connect by which we can schedule the running of workflows in future according to your predefined schedule. Okay, so here uh, just select this schedule option. And then it will ask how often you want to run your workflow. So here you will find many options. I am selecting days of the week option, select days of the week. And then you can select any given day of the week. So I'm selecting, let's say, Saturday, okay. And you can select a proper time as well on which you want this workflow to run. So I'm selecting the time here as let's say 4 p.m. Okay. Now you can click on save. All right. And here you can see this workflow is scheduled to run on every Saturday at this time. Okay. Right. So what we want this workflow to do every Saturday, we want that a node should be created in one node application. So this is my OneNote app guys and this is my workspace name and this is a section here uh, named as weekly notes. So under this weekly notes section I want to create notes every week. Right. So uh, it will act as a kind of reminder for me to create or complete the weekly work reports. Okay. So uh, you can use this same for any other use case or application. I am just using it for weekly reports. So I'm selecting one note here in the section step and the action event would be create HTML note in section. Select this option then click on connect button. From here select add new connection then click on connect with one note and it will ask it might ask you to log in if you're not logged in in Microsoft. I have already logged in in my Microsoft account so it is just asking me to select your Microsoft account. So I'm selecting one of those and then it will ask for uh, the required permissions to be given to connect with Microsoft. So just click check this box and then click on accept. And in a few moments, the authorization will be completed and will be connected with Microsoft. Okay, so OneNote is a Microsoft site application. That's why that's why we are connecting with Microsoft. And here you can see guys we are connected. And here it, it is asking to select your notebook. So uh, I have two notebooks here you can see these are the two notebooks right now I'm working on in this Gary at the rate work notebook. So I'm going to select it from here from this list. Okay. So here it is showing an untitled section. So the section is not titled here. So you can select it. If you have many more sections, you can select it from here. Then it will ask for the title of the note, then the content of the note, then date and time to be filled on which you want to create the note. Okay. So uh, 
to get the date and time guys i am going to use a feature of pabli connect which is called date time formatter and to automatically enter the date and the time every time this workflow uh, is going to run we are going to use the date time formatter here before one node step okay so here we have this plus sign click here so another action step will open up uh, before one no one node step and here from this action step i'm going to search for date time formatter feature okay then use the action event as current date then click on connect button from here it will ask to select the format of the date so current date action event is going to retrieve the current date that means the date on which the workflow is running so this workflow is going to run every week at saturday so it will give you the date of that day only okay so uh, right now we are setting up this automation so when i am going to click on save and send test request here it is going to give me today's date because we are manually setting up it after that it will work and give you the right date on which the workflow is going to run okay so here you can see we need the date in this format okay so i'm going to choose this same format here in from this list you can see this format is here select it and i do not want to include time in the response so i'm making it false now click on save and send test request button and here you can see it started showing 16 fives which is today's date okay now i'm going to map it here in this date time field so you just have to click here and you can see the previous steps are not appearing here in the drop down so this means we need to refresh this connection here with one node so because we have added this step before this step okay so i have stopped that step between the two steps so you need to prepare a workflow sequentially so uh, don't worry just click on connected here one more time and from here keep this existing connection option selected and then click on save again and your connection with one node will be refreshed so our connection is refreshed and now when you click on any of the fields like, like this okay the previous steps will appear here so guys i want to provide the title here uh, as weekly report okay this will be the title of my note the content of my note will be so if you want to type a content which is going to provide as a header so you can just uh, use this format pasted here and you have to provide these uh, header tags so that it will act as a header or a heading of the content okay so here between these two tags i'm going to write the content as create so here you can see i have written the content as create your weekly weekly report here and here in this date time label i'm going to map the date from the second step you can see from the second step i have just clicked on this date time label to map it like this okay now it will appear inside the nodes here let us check let us just check our connection with one node by clicking on save and send test request button and a note will be created here in microsoft one note so here i am clicking on save and send test request all right so this is the response we got here let's check in our one note application and here you can see guys we got a no note a new note created with this title weekly report here you can see the date of creation 16th of march and the time and you can see the heading of this note is create your weekly report here so uh, after that i can start working on the note so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that it is going to work every week on saturday okay so i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free pabli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys if you want to connect with our support team you can email us at support at the rate you can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of pabli connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing and guys if you like our videos do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much